How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now for today's review, we are going to take a look at some affordable SSDs from Anushkin. And the ones we're going to take a look at is their source range. So these are some more affordable SATA SSDs that is meant to take on some of the Western Digitals like the Blues and Greens. And then also some of the Samsungs like the 850 and then also the 860s. Uh, so again, SATA SSDs. SSDs, so they are a max at SATA speeds, SATA 3 speeds. They're going to be extremely fast, like NVMEs or anything like that, but they are going to be more reasonably priced and have some good speeds along with that. So if you are looking for a budget SSD, then these ones might be an option that you want to take a look at. Now, I do have a few here. So I have the 120, the 250, the 500, and then also the Terra. Bytes. I don't have enough hands for all of them. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at uh, the different speeds between the sizes, see if there's any differences uh, there. And then also I'm going to compare them against my OCZ Arc 100, which is a bit of an older SSD, but it's unfortunately the only more affordable one that I have that I can compare it to. And then also, uh, unfortunately, I do not have any Western Digitals like the blues and greens, but I will get some uh, from some reliable third parties and add them into the benchmarks as well. So just keep in mind that there are third party and it's not going to be a completely uh, based comparison between them, but it is uh, some more information that you can uh, take with you. So with all of that uh, being said, let's jump into today's review of the Nushkin Source SSDs right after this. Do you live in South Africa and want to get the best deals on all the latest gaming products? Well, Rebeltech is the best place to check out. They have a huge variety of peripherals, PC components, laptops, and just everything else you would need. So go check out rebeltech.crza to get the products you are looking for at a low price. Now starting off with some more specifications about uh, the Nushkin uh, Source SSDs. They do uh, use a 3D TLC NAND flash along with a Silicon Motion SM2258XT controllers. Uh, they do have 1.5 million hours of a lifetime cycle and then it comes along with a three year warranty. Now if you don't know what the difference between TLC and VNAND and so on the, the different NAND flash storages is, I will leave a link in the video description uh, where gamers uh, nexus uh, explains what the differences is and you can just uh, see that uh, for yourself but tlc is a uh, more of the affordable and then also it still delivers a good uh, life cycle but anyway, you're just here for the comparisons and see actually how they perform. Now, I did run a couple of tests. I did the uh, the standard sequential region writes, the random region writes. I did also do some copy and a paste tests with store uh, with files, and then also I did the of course I have to do the Windows a boot test. So first off, we have uh, the sequential read and write, uh, where I ran Crystal Disk a Mark with the Nushkin drives uh, beating uh, both the Western Digital SSDs and uh, my Arc 100. Uh, of course, it is a SATA SSD, so you are limited to just a SATA speeds. As for the random reads and writes, all of the Nushkin SSDs had a writes over 80,000 IOPS and reads from 36,000 to 49,000 a thousand IOPS. As for access times, it's still nothing that you would really notice yourself, uh, but it was uh, quite a fast uh, with the read times, and for the write times, it was somewhat a bit slower than the ARC 100, but still a lot faster than you would pretty much notice. As for the copy and paste test, I used the built-in copy test in AS SSD benchmark. As for my copy and paste test, I took a 25 gig Steam backup that I made. I copied it onto the SSD and made a duplicate of it. So it was using the read and the writes for this. And funny enough, all of the SSDs was pretty much close to each other, uh, being around 100 to 120 seconds, so about two minutes. Uh, but uh, the 120 gig was uh, pretty slow at 257. Uh, 
uh, seconds and then the 250 gig that was extremely slow at 412 seconds so I wasn't really sure what was happening there I did do it multiple times just to see uh, if it was just a mistake that was made but I did also run it at a bit of a higher size at a 75 gigs but even there I ran it a few times and it was just as slow as before so I'm not exactly sure what was happening there with the 250 gig model maybe it was a bit faulty uh, or uh, perhaps just in uh, this certain uh, copy and paste taste it struggled a bit but it was falling behind uh, the others now, of course, we had to do a Windows boot up test as well. Even though it's not the, like the best test you can do, it's something that we always want to see, just a brag about how quick our, our system boots up. Uh, and as for all of the Nushkin SSDs, I did a fresh install of Windows. It was just my Arc 100 that already had a lot of programs and uh, everything on because it is a my test bench SSD. But what we saw is uh, that all of uh, the Nushkin SSDs did it around eight to two nine a second so relatively quick I did also found some Western Digital boot times where it took the Western Digital Blue about 11 seconds to boot up and the Western Digital Green took about 18 seconds and then as for my ARC 100 that took it about 18 seconds now of course when installing more programs and using more of the storage it might get a bit slower but you're looking at about maybe five seconds or so on so in conclusion as we could see the Nushkin source SSDs do perform quite well there wasn't really that much difference between the sizes and with the speeds it was just the 250 gig model that for some reason it took a lot longer to copy over files I'm not sure Sure really what was happening there could be that I did have a faulty one or was just struggling in that a certain scenario but otherwise all the other ones did perform quite well boot times was fast all of that was fast uh, so you shouldn't really worry too much about that uh, again uh, they do take on uh, some of the witching digitals the Samsung's and they are somewhat more affordable uh, than uh, their competitors uh, here in South Africa they're not uh, that much uh, cheaper depending on where you go of course uh, but when you look on a new egg then there they are somewhat cheaper than their uh, competitors so if you are looking for more of an affordable SSD that performs well still has uh, the speed and all of the lifetime uh, then definitely check out the Nushkin Source SSDs uh, they are a viable option for your system so with all of that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video uh, please like share subscribe and comment like always also if you guys have any uh, ideas for any other videos you would want me to make let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do more ssd comparisons let me know uh, that as well and which ssds you would like me to compare them to but yeah that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching guys and i will check all of you next time cheers guys